Thousands of people lined up at New York's public library, but not to return overdue books. They came instead to toast a very special guest, the cocktail. The cocktail? I couldn't be a bigger fan. Part fashion show, part performance art, this was the first annual Manhattan Cocktail Classic. 25,000 cocktails, shaken and stirred, were served to more than 2,000 fans on hand for the opening gala. New York City has a festival for everything, and the fact that it didn't have a festival for cocktails is just downright absurd. New York hospitality maven Leslie Townsend founded the five-day classic to embrace the rebirth of this liquid art form. In the same way that, you know, people are getting more and more adventuresome with their eating choices and going to, you know, crazy molecular gastronomy focused restaurants, we're seeing the same trends in bars now. From the picture perfect martini to a frozen mango and guava slushy with floral garnish. It gets me in touch with my feminine side. <laughs> there was something for every taste. Mixologist Mike Martinson says folks are learning to drink outside the box. You, you always want to give the consumer what they want, so let them have their rum and coke. But if you give them a taste of something different outside the box, they're not going to drink rum and coke anymore. Very complicated cocktail. But, uh, That's why education was also on the menu. More than 60 seminars at 31 New York bars and restaurants, teaching bar flies everything from the history of tequila to the art of nosing one's cognac. There's like so much love and passion in sort of the cocktail community that it's, it's fun. It makes like drinking, it makes you feel like good about drinking. You're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a noble hobby. Of course it is. Once the hangover subsides, planning will begin in earnest for next year's classic. Until then, class dismissed. <laughs>